Today we're doing such a fun video. I am going to be showing you guys my top 10 best thrift finds. <laughs> Honestly, these things fall in different categories. Some of them are like my most worn things. Some of them are my most interesting. Or some of them are just like amazing things that I found that I just can't believe that I found. You know, like those really special thrifted pieces. But yeah, I'll let you guys know where everything is from. And let's get styling these are in no particular order but honestly these might be my most worn item out of all of these things they are these vintage lee jeans that i got from l train vintage i think i paid maybe 30 dollars for them or 25 it's kind of like this acid wash very very light wash jean and the tan stitching like just complements it so well and also like my last name is lee so having the lee tag on my ass is just everything you know <laughs> all right this is not a revolutionary outfit but fall is here and this is what i wear in the fall time i love these pants because they basically feel like sweatpants like that's literally the best thing about a baggy soft pair of jeans i paired it with this hoodie that i thrifted honestly i'm throwing this in as an honorable mention as one of the best thrifted pieces that i've ever found this is just one of my favorite sweaters ever and i love that it's oversized on me i should have added it to this list to be honest but honorable mention the cannabis college hoodie <laughs> then i just paired it with some black timberlands i also cuffed the pants a little bit i don't know i'm serving big strong energy in this look big dick energy i think like i feel cozy and i feel confident next piece is this vintage fubu sheer tank top i found this at beacon's closet and it was literally eight dollars it is super sheer so it's kind of hard to style i've only worn it once and i wore it with like pasties under but i had to get it anyways because i I just loved the color and the fubu logo just looks so great and also like the tag i'm a sucker for like a nice tag so this was just a no-brainer when i saw it i grabbed it immediately this outfit very much reminds me of like 18 year old emily i wore so many layers i remember layering turtlenecks underneath tank tops with high-waisted sweatpants all the time like this would be an outfit that i definitely would have worn but i wanted to style this tank top in more of like a fall way so i loved it with this turtleneck from everlane i do like it with the sweats like i feel like it's a very fun look very like i don't know it gives retro vibes if i had a sneaker that was this exact color that would literally be so good like that would bring everything together but i still really like this look it feels very fun and it's not nostalgic to me to be honest but yeah i just wanted to try something a little different with this look and i'm feeling good are you guys i think it's fun i think it's cute and i think i feel good okay next situation may look familiar i wore this for my birthday it was actually a tank top it was kind of like a shapewear spandex really long tank top that i cut into a two-piece set i just had to do it because of how sparkly it was and the material is just so stretchy if you ever find a long shapewear tank top, try to make a two-piece set out of it because it's so cute on. I got this, I think, from Savers for maybe like $3. So I got a birthday outfit for $3 and I am never going to complain about that. I knew for this two-piece, I wanted to do something super fun with the styling. I love this, honestly. I don't know where I would wear this to, but I mean, I would wear this for my birthday. <laughs> I decided to pair it with my black go go boots i got these from depop i love how they look together it's giving mod you know i decided to go super crazy with the sparkles so i'm wearing this rhinestone belt i got this from depop too then i really have been wanting to wear this necklace from vitali it is like a giant chunky chain and i just thought this would be the perfect outfit since it's a little bit edgier i feel like a model in this one like new york fashion week i'm ready even though my outfit looks like i cut it <laughs> but that's part of fashion creating this feels like a very fashion I created this outfit and I'm okay with that to be honest next piece is a piece I haven't even worn out yet like I just have not found the perfect day or perfect outfit for it this I got from one of those super expensive Brooklyn thrift stores I probably paid like $40 for this I don't know but definitely 
they ripped me off. This is like such a cute windbreaker. It is obviously this beautiful bubblegum pink. It has like such cute little details, like little ruffles on the sleeves and on the cuffs. And it's kind of like longer, like more of a feminine style. Oh, I want to wear this so bad. This is just amazing. It's probably a piece like I'll never get rid of because of just like how happy it makes me, even if I never wear it or if I don't wear it often. It will still be mine. <laughs> this outfit is so fun. I love it. I feel like a cloud. This jacket just makes me feel like a cloud for some reason. I decided to pair it with these just like basic mom jeans. They're from Reformation. And this little baby tank. I got this from Depop. Actually, somebody sent it to me. A viewer sent it to me from their Depop shop. And that was so nice of them. And I wear it all the time. And I just wanted a fun shoe. I felt like the jacket was a lot and we needed a fun shoe. These are like the only fun fun shoes that I have so I went with them. They are buffaloes I thrifted them from Beacon's Closet and I love that they have like the pink and blue But this outfit makes me feel so cute Like that's all that I feel in it just cute and some days I do like to feel cute. Oh my god, this gives cotton candy vibes, right? Why did it take me so long to think about that? <laughs> Next thing is super random. It is this pleather bodycon skirt. I'm trying really hard to remember where I got this from. Probably Buffalo Exchange for like eight to fifteen dollars it kind of looks like a trash bag i'm not gonna lie it just was so interesting to me and i just really wanted to get it and create looks with it and use it as an interesting going out piece so yeah i worn it once and i loved my outfit but it's cute and now is like kind of the time for like pleather like fall where it's like a little cool it's a little crisp in the air <laughs> i love a good black and white outfit something about it just like it's so pleasing to the eye for some reason i decided to pair the skirt with this top from finesse it is a super like wrap top you might have seen me wear it i wear it all the time because i love this top and then to like bring in more white i did my all white doc martens also i'm wearing my little vintage guest bag and then i have these really really big hoops on and a bunch of gold rings i just feel cute in this outfit i have nothing else to say but i feel like a boss ass bitch a powerful ass bitch i feel like when i walk into the room it's like whoa like she's the boss now <laughs> you know what i mean next thing is this wrap top i have so many wrap tops but this is the one that i love the most i got this at like a random thrift store in florida for probably like two three dollars i wear this so often it's just such a safe top for me whenever i don't know what to wear i know i can wear this and i will feel comfortable in my body something about it just makes me feel so good i just always love it i, I feel like i'm never gonna get rid of it so i wanted to throw a casual outfit in here hi noki You okay? What's wrong? You want a treat? Come. Okay, back. <laughs> I wanted to style this in a casual way because this top can be worn literally in so many different ways. These sweats are from Dumb Good. They are part of the Sanrio collab. They have Hello Kitty all over them. I thought the blue matched like perfectly. I just have on some white socks and some Nike Air Maxes. And then I just wanted to throw in a pink accessory because I thought it would be cute. So I have my Simone Rocha bag that I got from Buffalo Exchange secondhand. Noki is back. What is good but yeah i love this outfit i would wear this literally for anything are you my little audience but yeah i love this look let's go on to the next one these pants i wear all of the time oh my god these are adidas from beacon's closet i believe they were like 15 dollars these are just such amazing cargo pants first of all they actually have like pink details all around like the buttons are pink and the logo is pink and i love that because pink is my favorite color also the bottom of these scrunch like so perfectly like i really love when the bottom of my pants have a 
detail like a flare a scrunch a split hem something and this with like thick socks oh it's my favorite look and i just wear these so often because they're so comfortable oh and they're low-waisted love that this outfit is unlocking some kind of amazing energy from inside of me and i am obsessed with it. I think like the color palette just matches so well. I love these pants because they're so comfy and flattering. I decided to play off the scrunchiness on the bottom with some very very thick socks. These are by Yeezy I'm pretty sure. And then I'm wearing my Veja sneakers. They're all kind of in the same color category like these neutrals, these faded neutrals. To play off of that I did this pink wrap top. This is also thrifted. And then I just thought this faded beige coach bag just went so well with all of the other muted colors and I'm also wearing some little pink bracelets beaded bracelets because I thought it would be cute a girly element it's a lot of tummy out which is why I kind of tied it in the front so we would have like something there I feel like I've been doing a lot of tummy lately I have been doing a lot of low rise a lot of short shirts I'm only gonna live once I might as well wear the fucking crop top and the low-waisted jeans. If I was a cartoon character, this would be my default outfit because I would literally be happy wearing this every single day. Next thing is this little top. This is actually vintage from my mom's closet, so it's like actually from the 90s, you know? It's similar to the FUBU shirt with like the mesh, but the chest is double-lined, so it's not as bad. I could wear pasties with this and you can't see anything, so I love that about it. I love that it was hers and I love that I can wear it now. It's weird. It's like I have an attachment to it. <laughs> I am so obsessed with this outfit i don't know what about it but it's so freaking cute so what i did with the top to make it like a cuter fit is i just tied it in the back with a little clear scrunchy and then tucked it in i do that with like almost all of my shirts because i'm really short i just feel like it's cuter that way i'm wearing these flared corduroy pants these actually are vintage from my mom's closet paired it with my pink furry bands and my little saddle bag my fave bag ever and also my angel number necklace that i made but yeah i'm obsessed with this outfit i would wear this to like go out shopping to go thrifting to go on a date i think this is actually a very cute like lunch date look or like lunch out with friends look very cute obsessed if you see this on my instagram soon don't say i didn't warn you oh my god next thing is this dress when i saw this dress it was like a cinderella moment for me i was at a salvation army like a random one that was like far away from me i drove to it i was online ready to pay and i saw this dress in the distance and it just looked like it was my size so i ran and i got it and i bought it and i didn't even try it on or anything but but this dress literally fits me like a glove. It is so amazing. It's literally vintage Forever 21, which is crazy because the quality is so good and like there's so many details on it. I would have never thought that Forever 21 made this dress, but it has like lace and sequins and the hem on the bottom is asymmetrical with like all of this lace. It gives me high fashion, which is crazy because I probably spent like $8 on this dress, but I've worn it a couple times. Ugh. I need somewhere to wear this again because it's literally my Cinderella dress. So this is how I styled this dress. I feel like the dress kind of speaks for itself. I love how it fits me, like the material, the cutouts, the lace, everything about it is so cute. I really love a longer dress with a sock boot. Like I still love a sock boot. I don't know if people still wear them, but I love a sock boot and I will never not love a sock boot to be honest. These are really old from Koi Footwear, very cute. And then I have my little thrifted velvet bag. I just thought it was cute with like the details and the little beads. And I just threw on a bunch of silver jewelry because I felt like it all went together. But yeah, I would wear this probably to like an event. I love this dress, very cute. Probably one of my faves, never ever getting rid of it. Last item are these True Religion jeans. I got these from Depop. I think I paid like like 15 20 dollars for them i remember i got a pretty good deal on them these are a little big on me which is why i don't wear them as often as i would like to but they are just such a good pan and i actually diy'd the bottom and made them like a split hem and then i like put a couple stitches so that 
it wouldn't unravel but I don't know something about true religion jeans was calling me for some reason I didn't feel like confident in them for a very long time so I was not wearing them out I think it's because like they kind of make my ass look flat <laughs> but I wore them out for the first time to karaoke with my friend and I felt so cute I felt like a pop star I felt very y2k I really want to try to look past the fact that they make my ass look flat and just focus on the pop star vibe I think that it's important for me to start getting that mentality with clothes sometimes because I'm always very focused on like how it looks on sometimes it's not that good you know sometimes damaging for the mental <laughs> I am beyond obsessed with this look when I first put on this shirt I didn't think it was gonna work but when I saw myself in the mirror I was like, this is it. This is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't know why, but this video is making me feel really creative. And I feel like I'm putting together pieces that I haven't put together before. So I feel inspired right now. This is good. <laughs> so I paired the jeans with my little Death Note tee. I got this from Depop, but then I DIY'd it. Like I made it into like a little baby tee. It was a no-sew project. And I don't know how to explain what I did, but it's like you kind of cut strips and then tie them together. And then you can like make the shirt slim so I did that and I also cropped it. I love it with these pants so much I feel like the colors are so complimentary and then since there was a little red and tan I decided to throw on my vintage Burberry which I think is like the perfect combo I also have this little bag charm on it. It's from dumb good. It's a hello kitty bag charm I don't know if it's too much, but I mean it's cute <laughs> but this is such a cool outfit i feel very cool in this like this is my alter ego but i'm trying to bring her out more often i feel like i often like to dress like a pop star in my mind and i don't really like wear it out but i'm going to starting now <laughs> but yeah i love this look it's probably one of my favorites from this whole video to be honest that's how cute I feel. <laughs> this was so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite piece or your favorite outfit. Or let me know what is the best thing that you've ever thrifted. That is such a hard question. But if you have answers, I want to hear them. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video. But for now, bye. Peace the fuck out.